Well, time for the kick off the post game with the usual task, right? Getting the ticket. <sighs> and we definitely want to hit up a Pokemon Center at some point, too. We need to get out the rest of our HM slaves. We need their power. The power of their assistance to cut trees and swim short distances. At least I don't have to solve the stupid puzzle when we get to, you know, Vermilion City. Ugh. I just always hate that puzzle. It's all RNG based. It's annoying. Like, do I, why do I need good luck to fight the gym leader? Ugh, makes no sense. Yeah, I know. I could have grabbed him for getting on the boat, but. You know, what difference does it really make? Yes, yes I will. Now I get ourselves a metal coat we don't need. Oh no! I'm about to get accosted by an old man! Oh. I don't know if my ribs can take it. And yeah, I forgot to go get the ice. <sighs> what do I gotta do your work for you, man? I, I guess he'd argue he just can't leave his post. It's that important he sticks around there, you know, guarding that spot. From what? I, I don't know. But you, get back to work. And why are they playing the Team Rocket theme here? Like, like is this screw up really a part of Team Rocket? Like, before I was a rocket grunt, now I'm a grunt on a ship. Little changes in life, doesn't it? And yeah, I know, we could always run Earthquake, I suppose, technically, for Lieutenant Surge, but I don't want to. Though I have to admit, Earthquake's probably gonna be kind of a tempting option at some point. Because we also have to deal with Brock. And let's face it, his Pokemon are quite rock hard. Then again, you know, we're over leveled, so we could probably just brute force our way through with returns and leftovers. That might need some testing, though. <sighs> but I think it would work, especially with access to milk drinks, though. It definitely wouldn't be the uh, most efficient way to do it, but I don't want to give up my milk drink, you know? Like, it's my favorite move here. It's sort of like when you have access to recover, you know? Like on Staryu or something. Like, I don't want to give up my recover. It allows me to fight longer than possible. To fight harder than possible. Like, I'm filled with death spirit or something, you know? Like, I know it's coming. Darn right you need to go. Yeah, j just this guy doesn't even know my name. I suppose I'll sometimes randomly bug people about, you know, uh, how their dog reminds me of my brother's dog or whatever. Like, oh, you got a German Shepherd? So does my brother. Or talk about movies while, you know, flipping through the bargain bin with other customers. Though at least that's usually a chat about movies. <laughs> Though I did watch Scoop tonight, so that was a bit of a mixed bag. And it doesn't really have the mystery thing going for it. And it's more of a comic vehicle in my opinion than an adventure movie. I just don't know if it's stand up uh, on its own two feet as an adventure film. It's just too much involvement of magical MacGuffins that are never particularly well explained. Like, I question the lore here, you know? Well, I'm pretty sure I don't need Shuckle again. There are no boulders to move. 
guess I could swim across to, you know, avoid uh, using cut here, but eh, it takes about the same amount of time regardless. Okay, we'll fight the old guy. How he thinks he can stop us, I don't know. Gregory's like, I'll use the power of the mascot! And like, eh, that, that won't help you here. It really won't. Well, that takes care of the mascot. What else you got for me? Oh, a sheep? Ah, still ain't good enough. Though I suppose Ampharos would have the easiest time with this gen, just because it can get Fire Punch easy. Which gives us an- gives you an out for Steelix. Well, let's go take on the man, the myth, the legend. Lieutenant Surge, you fought in a war we never learned that much about. Seriously, who was Kanto at war with? Like, like was at war with Johto? Or, or Hoenn, or Sinnoh, like, who, who, who were they fighting? And why? We don't really see that much established government even in the Kanto region, you know? Like, who's the big cheese? Is, is it Sylphco? Is the president of Sylphco just the president of Kanto? Like, 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 who's really in charge? Who is Team Rocket bribing the guild away with all the shenanigans they get up to? Because you think otherwise, someone would deal with this organized crime, you know? Ah, screw it, return. Maybe we'll get paralyzed. Oh no, they went for double team. That won't help you. Not unless you get real lucky. Oh no, it's the reverse Pokeball. I suppose that does mean we could play as Voltorb at some point. Maybe, but... I don't know if Voltorb would be a good option to even try with. I mean, one of the big disadvantages of Voltorb is it has a terrible moveset. Like, just really, really bad. Like, it's the Electro... I don't think it even learns the Electric Attacks in Gen 1. It's absolutely bizarre. Yeah, yeah, we're proudly. Well, I'll do it for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll go deal with Sabrina. And depending on how long it takes, maybe I'll head over to Celadon City and wreck Erica as well. Until then, see ya.